Hi there, this is Adam again. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, so here I am again with another uh, IYV guitar review. So we are uh, on to the Les Paul style. So this one is the Emerald Green, like the Emerald Green City. That's what it reminds me of. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to go over it, take a close up look at it. Um, then we will hear some sounds. Check it out. All right, stay tuned. Okay. IYV, Les Paul, Emerald Green. Very, very pretty guitar. All right. So it is a mahogany body and a mahogany neck. Um, it has a flamed maple top. Very, very pretty. Let's see if we can get in there. And... And it has a cream binding that goes all the way around it. Very, very sharp. Uh, the hardware is, uh, uh, the poker chip is uh, cream. The pick guard is cream. And then along with the binding. Now it has a Jatoba fretboard. Now mine could definitely use condition. It needs, definitely needs cleaned. I've had mine for uh, a couple years now. Been a very good guitar. Definitely, definitely could use a cleaning though. I have the old headstock. So the new headstock, it has these little dashes in between the I and the Y, then another dash in between the Y and the V. No big deal. This, uh, this is the old style. I'm sure it's probably something with the dashes. I'm sure it's easier for them to do. But very, very pretty guitar. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Trying to dance over all my guitar equipment. I got my pedal board right, right next to my feet right now. So it has a arched top to it. Uh, it's got a nice, nice curve on it. Um, it does have a bone nut. Uh, at least it says online it's bone. It feels like bone to me, but again, I, I, I could be, I could be mistaken. Very pretty. Now this one, uh, definitely not a backbreaker. So this one is seven pounds, uh, six and a half ounces. Now my Gibson Les Paul is nine pounds, seven ounces. So definitely a couple pounds more. And then I have a, a Gibson Sonics and that thing's like 10 pounds. So this one, uh, yeah, not too heavy. Now it's got a nice pointed horn right there. I actually, I actually like the, the sharp point to it. But yeah, beautiful guitar. Now I got this one off of Amazon. Um, now the green one is no longer at Amazon right now. Um, however, they do have a, uh, it's like an ocean blue, very pretty guitar. Um, I will tell you though, they're not the same guitar. Um, the ocean blue, the, the body is bigger for some reason, a little bigger. And then the neck is definitely uh, more rounded. But if you can find this green one, I definitely recommend it. Um, I think they still have them on, on eBay. You can probably find them. Yep, give me a second. I will go ahead and uh, flip it over. We'll check out the back. All right, so here's the back of the guitar. All 
I love the transparent so you can see the wood grain in it. Very pretty. Yeah, the, the lighting is not, not doing the neck justice. Look very dark in the lighting. Very nice guitar, though. All right, give me a second. I will go ahead and we'll get her plugged in and uh, check out some sounds. All right, we got her all hooked up. Let's go ahead and check out some sounds. All right. Not bad sounding. All right. Uh, let's see here. Get rid of it.
yeah, not not too bad sounding. Uh, just one second. Hold on, please. Okay, so that kind of concludes my little, uh, you know, guitar review of the IYV Emerald Green uh, guitar. Yeah, I really like it. It's a good sounding guitar. Uh, bear with my playing. Um, uh, yeah, I was <laughs> on that last one, I played the wrong chords, made the lead parts that much harder to play over top of. Anyways, yeah. But you can hopefully hear the guitar. Hopefully it sounds decent. But you guys make up your own mind. You know, is it one that's, uh, you know, worth getting, worth checking out? Um, you know, in my personal opinion, every IYV guitar is worth getting. But that, that's my opinion. But, uh, but yeah. Anyways, I hope whether it's morning, noon, or night, I hope you guys have a good one and take care. Thanks, guys. And oh, also. Click that uh, that button, like, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys.